where is this this joyful feeling anyway at all times where is it so i had a really good question he said how do you stay so joyful and another one was how do you stay so positive and i can't remember who who asked it because i'm out and about but this just felt like the perfect time to answer that question because how do i stay so positive and so joyful is a loaded question and because it implies that something needs to be done <laughs> to stay joyful and positive and it's like asking this tree so check this tree out look at it, it goes all the way back there absolutely beautiful tree and it's putting out all this beautiful energy around the whole area and it's like asking that tree you know how do you stay so positive and joyful how do you stay so majestic and beautiful how do you stay so graceful and relaxed but look how relaxed this tree is it's completely relaxed <laughs> and and this is just our nature it's the nature of the entire universe to be joyful and positive but not positive as in positive negative but positive in the sense that you mean when you ask that question because finding that joy and maintaining it is not something that you need to do it's already there it's more a question of not doing what you're doing to hide this joyful state and how you hide it is <laughs> it's by looking for it <laughs> sorry i know it sounds so silly sometimes but how you hide the, the natural state of joy is looking for it because because everything arrives joyful and remains joyful like i sometimes watch a couple of videos on meditation on youtube and people say things like you know enjoy your conscious state uh, enjoy this period of time this 15 minutes or one hour of meditation and just just close your eyes and go inside and see your true self and, and i i say no no do that if it's enjoyable but don't do that as a way to, to discover yourself because that just sets up this um, idea that enjoyment and meditation and relaxation are located somewhere in a place of stillness when they're everywhere so, so I use these meditative moments like this one under this tree because it's gorgeous I feel like my whole heart is just being bathed in treeness <laughs> it's a great incredible feeling but i use these things to remind me that this is the natural state of everywhere even when i'm in the middle of that traffic that you've seen in an earlier video in renault it's like chaos total chaos but but it's no different from being here on the beach in this tree there's no difference that the space hasn't changed the space in which all this occurs hasn't changed so so being positive and joyful is just really relaxing and letting yourself be just as you are without trying to change anything i mean this is a really ancient human teaching it originated in tibet uh, but even older than that, according to some, some schools of thought. And it's something that's been taken away from, from humanity. And it's time to bring it back. You don't really even need to meditate to do it. Right now, whatever you're doing, there it is. There you are. So the whole question of being positive and joyful is just acknowledging, here I am. Here I am. Like I said to one of my friends the other day, when you celebrate, yeah, it's just an excuse to enjoy what's naturally here yeah so happy because that's what you are but you don't need really that excuse because the more you look at who you really are the more you get familiar with yourself and that's what it's about getting to, to know yourself as this as this 
this vast expanse, the more you start to see. Oh, cool. <laughs> and then it's, it starts to percolate into all areas of your life. And sometimes you, know, you have snapbacks and you forget that you're inseparable, you forget you're indestructible, you forget you are that which you're complaining about <laughs> momentarily. And then you come back to remember. My favourite analogy is the, is the waves on the ocean. You can see it because it's quite a far out. But the waves on the ocean are just... Well, we could label each wave. That wave's pain, that wave's joy. But all of it is just ocean. So you can be disturbed by the waves on the sea. From one perspective, ups and downs is all there is. When you reside at some place trying to find happiness in the ups and downs, then you're like a boat in the ocean and you're going up and down, up and down, you're subject to whatever. Or you can reside as the ocean, which is completely impervious to the ups and downs and may not even register them other than, oh, that was a big wave. So that's what I invite you to do is just to relax and try to notice where is this this joyful feeling anyway at all times where is 